This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a tour of the new Sims Freeplay Farmhouse pre-built template. Many thanks as always to EA and FireMonkeys for letting us share a special early access preview with you guys. As usual, any currency you see in this video comes from them and is temporary only. The farmhouse is, as we said, a pre-built house template which gets unlocked as the final prize for completing the Missing Claws quest. That quest is available for a limited time starting on December 12th, 2018. That's based on the Eastern Australia time zone, so depending on where you live, it could be more like December 11th. We've got a walkthrough of the whole quest in another video on our channel, so please check the video description below for a link to see that. If you finish the entire Missing Claws quest in the time limit, the farmhouse will be available to build on any empty premium or standard size lot. The first one you build will be free, and after that it will cost simoleons. As with all houses in the game, the exact price to build depends on how many buildings you already have in your town. It will cost more if you have more buildings, and cost less if you have fewer buildings. This is the farmhouse on a premium size lot, which is 18 by 36 squares. We'll show the standard size lot, which is 18 by 18 squares, later in this video. By the way, it is snowing on this lot, which is, I think, because we're currently in the winter update on this preview version. During winter updates in this game, usually it's snowing all over Simtown, so hopefully after the winter update is finished, then it won't be snowing anymore on the lot. Yeah, there's nothing special about the lot, because it's just a farmhouse that makes it snowing. This is of course the same farmhouse that Santa and Mrs. Claus live in, and it's the one we saw in the quest. The major difference is, as we said, this is on a premium size lot, so with this lot we get this really cool manicured garden area back here with the picket fence extending out to this part of the lot, and as you can see there's a lot of space in between the rest of the lot, which has this outdoor dining area that we saw during the quest, and the chicken coop, and the barn over here. Yeah, and on a standard side lot, the whole lot is basically just the house, and then the extra stuff at the back. Before we get into the inside of the house, let's talk about a couple of the new building features you can see here. The wraparound porch, and the A-line gabled roof. The wraparound porch is absolutely gorgeous, and it's a building feature we've been wanting for a long time, but at the time of this recording, the wraparound porch is exclusive to this template. That means, unfortunately, we won't be able to build one on any other lot in the game. Also, currently you can't change the shape or size of it either, and you also can't delete or move it. It's not even really attached to the house, because you can move this room away from the porch, and the porch won't change. It's basically a static feature, and anything you do to the house will not change the porch. This is sort of similar to the archways of the wedding venue template, which are stuck on the front of the lot and can't be moved or deleted. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do a lot more with this feature, and we'll also be able to use it in other buildings. It's at least cool and promising that the artwork for it exists. Moving on to the A-line roof. This is another feature we've been wanting in the game for a long time, so this is really exciting to see. It's a bit limited, however. For one thing, there is only one type of roof covering for the A-line version, compared to lots of types for the normal hipped version we've had since the beginning, and the flat roofs, of course. And for another thing, it's incredibly expensive. As you can see in the preview version of the game, which we're playing for this video, it costs 11,000 simoleons per square to place a new A-line roof. So for placing it on the smallest possible building, which is a 1x2 rectangle, it would be 22,000 simoleons, and here on the farmhouse, almost 1.5 million simoleons. Yeah, that's way more expensive than any other type of roof. It means for any decent sized house, like this one, if you change the roof after the house is already built, it could cost you literally millions of simoleons. However, it's not all bad. Having this roof actually doesn't change the price of doing anything to the rooms of the house. So we recommend, if you want this type of roof to be as cheap as possible, and you're able to start with an empty lot, you should first build the smallest possible room in the game, which is a 1x2 square, put the A-line roof on it for that 22,000 simoleons, and then you can start building the rest of the house like you normally would. Of course, we're showing this on our special preview version of the game, so we're just hoping that the final update version works like this as well. We also don't know if that 11,000 simoleons price will be different in the final version of the game, or if it will change in the future, but currently we think it's pretty disappointing for players who have pre-existing houses which they want to change, but maybe don't have the millions of simoleons to spend on it yet. Ok, that over, now let's get into the details of the farmhouse. Alright, so let's check out the inside of the house. As you can see, it is two stories, 
And here is the front door along this wraparound porch area, which we talked about before. And the door, as you can see, is really cool. Got four panes of glass in it, and it opens immediately onto this dining room. Yeah, the furniture throughout this house is really lovely. It's a little bit rustic, but also I think very chic and elegant still. Agreed. And there are some pieces of furniture that are exclusive to the farmhouse that were not unlocked by the quest. I think that's typical of pre-built house templates, which you get from events like this. So it's an added incentive to buy the house as it is, and maybe if you want to loot the furniture out of it if you want to use it in other lots. All right, so through this doorway, we get into the living room, get these beautiful Chesterfield sofas, which we determined are charcoal colored. Charcoal colored. A lovely big rug, a nice, oh, I'm gonna say a pretty comfy looking rocking chair. It's got a nice little Ottoman stool in front of it. And I love that it's angled. Mm -hmm. Any angled furniture is a win for me. And what's important is that's not even angled at 45 degrees. It's maybe at 30 degrees. Wow, how precise. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> And we have a sideboard between this beautiful fireplace. It looks like that's a great spot for storing some celebratory bottles of wine. I love with the fireplace especially that you can see if you drop the walls on the inside part, <laughs> you can see, yeah, that stack coming through the inside of the wall. It's really cool. cool. Okay, so having gone into these two front rooms, we can now go into this kitchen back here, which is massive. And I think it totally makes sense to have a massive kitchen in a farmhouse because there's, oh, sorry, that's our cat. <laughs> she wants food because I think she heard the word kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a farmhouse, people talk about like farmhouse style sinks, mm -hmm. farm tables, which are massive tables. So if you're in a farmhouse, you need a really big kitchen. And this is a beautiful kitchen, lots of space, lots of storage, a lovely little breakfast bar there as well. Yeah, love that. With space, maybe this is a bit of a, you know, mud room too at the end because it's how you get into the backyard. Mm, I really love this sideboard here. This mm -hmm. is just gorgeous. Like the decorations, the artwork, I mean, wow. Sims Replay just keeps knocking it out of the park when it comes to arts and styles yep. for furniture stuff in houses. Yeah, loads of variation. And we move from the kitchen into the laundry room. And here we have one of those massive butler sinks, a uh, beautiful butcher block countertop. I love that little curtain underneath the yeah. sink. And that obviously there's no door there, but there you could put all your cleaning supplies and stuff. And of course we've got the ironing table and a washer and dryer. And these are special rustic washer dryer setups for this rustic farmhouse style. So that's really cool. Yeah, so a really lovely, not that many rooms, not that complex a build, but really beautiful first floor. Should we quickly check out the basement before we go upstairs? Sure. So that basement staircase is actually accessible via this door. And by the way, we haven't talked about the door, the five panel horizontal door, which I think is really cool. That's a nice and door. Yeah. Yeah. So that's accessible over here fairly central to the house, which I know you like about basement stairs. If you could have central basement stairs, you love that. Yeah, I do. I also think that's a really pretty door. It's hard to get a good quality door. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the staircase goes down into the basement and you can go one of two ways. If you went this way, you have a sort of study with a computer, one of those really expensive social point computers and a, this is a rowing machine. Yeah, cool rowing machine and this water heater. And then over here, you have space to chill with actually not rustic furniture. You get a massive three square wide TV. Yeah, really cool. I love that this is maybe where the family ends up spending quite a bit of their time because it's where they've got the massive TV mm. and the living room upstairs a little bit more formal. Yeah. And that's for no TV, maybe even no device time up there. Mm. I really like that they've included a Christmas tree. Yeah, it makes sense because this is the farmhouse that did belong to Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Yep. And it just reminds us that this house template came during the holiday update. Well, we're talking about remembering where this house came from. Check out this beautiful picture on the living room wall. That is really cool. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> and I think the wallpaper, by the way, this is a different color variation as well. I mean, all the wallpaper throughout looks like new types of wallpaper. So these are, these are really beautiful. Okay, so let's go upstairs. That staircase gets out onto this upstairs hallway. And let's go into door number one over here. We've got a little bedroom. Oh, this Very furniture cute. is so beautiful. 
Yeah, this is a new bed as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, even though it's a pretty simple bed, uh, I think this is going to be really great for doing, say, servants' quarters in oh, houses. Right. Do you remember you yeah. did one recently, a kind of... Uh, yeah, English Country English Manor. English Country Manor yeah. inspired. Yeah, with a very high uh, headboard and footboard. I think this was just nice to have more variety in single beds like Agreed. this. Agreed, yeah. And, of course, you get a dresser and a nightstand as well. Yeah, then lovely mix of metal and wood. Further along the hallway, we get to the bathroom, and here we have a beautiful double vanity. Look at this. I mean, this. <laughs> what can I say? Like, this is just gorgeous. This is amazing. And then we have this tub over here, which matches. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lovely yeah. Yeah, clawfoot soaking tub, and I love that detail of the color on the underside matching the vanity. Yes, exactly that. Is it like a French blue? Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then down here we have a double door and that gets into the master bedroom. So this is amazing. We have another angled chair with ottoman. It's another one compared to the one that we got downstairs. Yeah, this is again a 30 degree <laughs> chair. Really lovely. This one definitely looks a bit more cozy. Similar furniture to the other bedroom for the chest of drawers here. I love this vase with grass. This is like kind of a thing that you would see in a farmhouse, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the round mirror, of course. And then here is the bed on top of this gorgeous rug. Wow. I mean, wow. I, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> I just really love it. You're going to be harvesting this house as quickly as you can get it. You know it. <laughs> All right. So then through this doorway, we have the ensuite bathroom. We've got a single vanity with mirror. Beautiful. And over here, shelving units. Wow. No detail left unadded, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And we have this gorgeous single square shower. With, I love that shower. Yeah, I mean, this That's is just, my favorite part of this room. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. All right, so off of the hallway, we have a double door, which is modeled after, I think, the country homestead door, but this is a different color, so that's nice to have. And that gets out onto this balcony, and we've got this really cool balcony paving, which I'm not sure that we've seen before either, and balcony railing, which we definitely have not seen before. No, we definitely haven't. And then over here we have new planters. These are white planters. We have not had those in the game before. They match this white grill. This is a pizza oven, actually? Yeah, I think this is a pizza oven. So I think that's awesome. Nice little touches to have in this house. And as we said, outside in the backyard, we've just got some beautiful planters. Uh, some more of those white planters with lovely plants. Yeah. And those new little, I think those are those the hydrangeas, the f fat big ones. These ones? <laughs> around the outside. Yeah, yeah. those ones. These are those two are really by two lovely. squares. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. We're going to quickly show all the prizes that got unlocked from the quest in the home store, so check those out now. All the prizes individually that were unlocked from the quest, check out the video in the description below. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.